I'll, get, I'll get, get into it a little bit later, but in our pockets, we all probably have something that works pretty well to, to capture those things. They're always either transcribed, summarized, or indexed. Um, they're, all, they're usually archived somewhere, somewhere houses them. And most importantly, they're used or shared. Um, so people have an idea of what it is that you've done. Because if you do an oral history, you keep it in your desk, and that's the only copy of it, mm. you know, it's kind of, kind of lost in there a little bit. Um, so from doing oral history, uh, which is a book by Donald Ritchie, he says, oral history collects memories and personal commentaries of historical significance through recorded interviews. An oral history interview generally consists of a well-prepared interviewer <coughs> questioning an interviewee and recording their exchange in audio or video format we're hitting, we're hitting all of them here. Um, <coughs> recordings of the interview are transcribed, summarized, and indexed, and then placed into, the li uh, into a library or archive. And then it's used for research, um, sometimes used for publication, radio, video documentary, sometimes museum exhibits. Um, here in the Blackstone Valley, you know, we've got park notes coming up. Um, people who worked in the mills, again, this is important stuff that you can actually use in museum, um, in museum exhibitry, just like they do at Lowell National Historical Park. They have a wonderful section on the folks who came to Lowell, worked in Lowell, all, all done by oral histories. 